Hey, so this week you guys chose a question about how we know what types of love to show those people around us. There's all kinds of different types, of course. Tough love, romantic love, friendship love. How do we know which love we as Jesus followers are supposed to lead with? Well, good question. Uh, some of you know I play a little bit of drums. And every time I sit down to play drums, I always begin by starting off with the same simple beat. I just do that for kind of a long time. Uh, I practice that. I make sure that I'm able to keep that rhythm. I'm able to make sure that that's uh, locked in. And I do that to make sure that then I can build from there. See, anybody who plays drums will tell you that's boring. It's boring hitting that same beat over and over again. You want to play all the fun stuff. You want to get uh, to the, the, the hi-hat. You want to get to um, uh, the, the fun rhythms. But you can't do that unless you've got the bass beat down. If you don't have that, you can't build from there. I think love is a lot like that. Uh, we want to be able to, to talk about all the different types of nuance of love that we can do, that we can read a situation and say, you know what, you need tough love, and you need this type of love, and you need that. But the reality is, as Jesus followers, we've got one base love we need to lean into and hit every single time. Um, you may have heard that uh, in Jesus' time there were three different words for love. There's actually even more than that. All kinds of different nuanced love. But the love that Jesus calls us to is agape love. Self-sacrificial self love. Love where we put the other person and the other person's needs above and beyond our own. That's what Jesus does for us. That's what God does for us. That's what we are called to do for others. It's hard. And honestly, it uh, can be uh, really a challenge because we want to get to the other stuff. We want to, to be able to show that we can figure out uh, friendship love or family love or um, uh, whatever other type of love that might be out there. But if we aren't doing self-sacrificial love first and foremost and best, we can't do that other stuff. So in terms of how we lead with love, what we do with that, it's got to be agape first every time. And once we've been able to build on that, then and only then can we add the other types of love that I think most of us want to jump towards. So, one thought on how we lead with love. Thanks for watching. I got to get back to practice.